Hey guys, welcome back. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Uh, my family's been gone, and so it's been a little bit lonely around here, just me and the dog. Uh, I've gotten a lot of work done, but another benefit to this, if you're going to say there is one, uh, would be that I get to spend more time with you and playing games and, and uh, sharing different stuff. So yeah, basically, I, I'm glad to be here. We're going to be playing Ocarina of Time tonight. That's right, the original Nintendo 64 Ocarina of Time. And so that's what we're playing. This is going to be part six inside Lord Jabba Jabu's belly. Yeah, this one I still, and I've played this level, this temple dungeon many, many times. And I still get turned around a little bit. So it'll be fun uh, as I improv my way through this uh, this dungeon, Lord Jabba Jabu. So yeah, that that's what we're going to be playing tonight. Um, I just kind of have been laughing because I, you know, uh, there's this one room, and uh, you have to pick which hole to go down, and um, I think it's in the southwest corner. Uh, but anyway, the point is, I, I'll probably get turned around, and as you know, I, I try to go en unedited with all this. <clears throat> Unless there's technical difficulties. Um, but anyway, so therefore you, you might see some mistakes. You might see a tiny bit of confusion. Or I could blaze right through it. You know, uh, sometimes I surprise myself. So we shall see. Anyway, so without further ado, Ocarina of Time, I can't believe I just snap pointed. I don't know where that came from. Uh, without further ado, this is Ocarina of Time. Here we are at the game, and we're going to pick Arrow. That's the name of my uh, main character of, of my novel that I've written. I'm not done with it yet, and it's been a work of, for about 20 years. Massive world building, um, and it's been it's been a monumental process. It's a sci-fi fantasy um, story with essentially people who have superpowers. So, um, yeah, it's called Artera, and there's a bunch of chapters, in fact, on my website that you can read. Uh, again, none of this has been properly edited or vetted, and uh, some of them are kind of like almost rough cuts. But, yeah, I've written quite a bit of my novel. Looking forward to finishing it someday. <laughs> so, all right, we are headed to Zora's Domain. I'm beginning to think if there's a quicker way through the Lost Woods. I don't know. May not be. Well, yeah, but I think you have to be able to dive. Well, I can dive some. I'm trying, just trying to remember. All right, it's nighttime. I'm almost getting turned around here. But I'm not. We're, we're headed the right way. Get, a, get to the river before we get to the domain. Excuse me. A lot of running in this game. I can't wait till we get a Pona. If you've been watching my... Um, Okay, do I, am I forgetting, <laughs> oh, here we go, <laughs> give me a moment, all right, the way is, blo I, I know what I did guys, oh please, please, uh, forgive me here, I think I loaded, the wrong game. <laughs> hey, look, we're there. I told you we get there, didn't I? Yeah, it, it, we just warped here. I loaded the wrong game. Uh, okay, wow. This could be one of those nights, isn't it? Excuse me, boys. Hey, cut that out. Seriously? They're gonna hit me again, aren't they? Good shot. Alright. Here we go. Can't wait till I get the boomerang. It'll be a lot more useful. Alright, we're about to meet the princess.
You, who are you? I am Ruto, princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. My father is worried about me. I don't care. Anyway, I can't go home right now, and you get out of here. Understand? <laughs> I almost put a uh, New Jersey accent on that. But then I remembered I can't do a New Jersey accent. Oh no! She fell down. Alright, yeah. So this is the room, by the way. Obviously. Um, one of them is... One of these... Is, yeah, there it is. Blocked by that tentacle. And we'll take care of that in a moment. But yeah, drop through that. Up. Oh. And this is where she becomes a complete pain in the neck. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabba Jabba's belly since I was little, but... Lord Jabba Jabba is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes all around. On top of that, my precious stone was... But that's none of your business. Anyway, you you go home, understand? All right, so we keep, we don't go home. That's what we talk... What if we talk to her again? You're that worried about me? Then I will give you the honor of carrying me. However, I won't leave until I find the thing I am looking for. You better believe me. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Pain in the neck. We have to carry her. Come here, princess. At least this game has traditional... Alright, see what... Sometimes you can actually use her as a weapon and throw her at, at an enemy. I'm trying to remember. I see... Yeah, I think we put her down. And then activate the switch? No, 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 no. Wait. I did, I did it wrong. Yeah, every darn time. Alright. Waiting for the water to go down again. Alright, now she's up on the ledge. And, you know, let's take the sucker out. Hit the switch. Water level goes up. That'll give us access to the... Oh, stop. That'll give us access to the vines. We have another gold skulltella. And, oh, there's a fairy... Let's see, do I have a... I do have an empty bottle. And it's right there. Cool, it's already mapped. All right. Sure, I'll save. All right, so that gives us three fairies. Not bad. All right, water level went down again. So, hop on the button. Water level rises. Just like Batman. Come on, come on. Uh, uh. Hallway. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yes. Bullseye. All right, I threw her right at the button. I otherwise I'd have to put her down and use my slingshot. Uh, conserving resources. Use your princess as. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey. Why are we waiting? There's an elevator. That's why. No, 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 no. I pressed the wrong button. My thumb slipped. Okay, here we go. Oh, goodness. Yeah. I can serve the deco seed and I wasted a fairy. How's that for justice? Um, okay, here we go. Oh, let me get off. We're going to go back to the same room. Oh, threw her again. 
Sorry, princess. Go. Um, go back to the same room in which we met her. However, this time we do not drop down a hole. Be careful not to. Okay, those are the swirly dirly. I got that from Elf. Swirly dirly uh, gumdrops. Um, I just watched that movie again. Uh, Alright, one of my favorites. Shoot. Come here, princess. Pretty sure, yeah. I have to leave her on the button. She holds it down. And then we go in here. Alright, did I go in this room too quickly? I think I did. Because I do not have... I do not have uh, the boomerang yet. It's the only way you can defeat that thing. How considerate! How could you leave me behind? If you're a man, act like one. Take responsibility. Man, I love these games. You don't hear that in modern Hollywood these days. Those very words, I'll let you parse out what, what I mean by that. Um, person, I didn't exactly mask it any. All right, yep, tentacle. All right, let's do this one first. Yeah, I believe, you'll see. There's something different in this room, something that we can actually defeat. And yeah, and then basically, all right, oh, hold on. Yeah, all right, that, okay, different kind of button. I don't have to leave her there. <clears throat> I believe this is a timed challenge. No, it's not. Okay. Come on. Just locking on to these guys. While they're wobbling, they're invincible. They wobble for a moment after the first hit. Wait till that goes away. Wobble, 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 and... Oh, one more. You're gonna have to get them all. Lock on, wobble, wobble. Feels like a kid song my kids used to know. Uh, hey, I can't remember what it, oh, here we go. In this chest is something pretty sweet. Thank you for the heart. And there it is, our boomerang. All right, let's equip that bad boy. So we're gonna put the boomerang here. Yeah. And I don't need that empty bottle. Oh, I'm such a doofus. All right, put the bomb here. Yep, that's where I like them. I always put the bomb on the bottom button because I think, I always think drop a bomb. So they're drop, bottom, kind of makes sense in my my brain. Um, all right, tentacle's still there. That's right, that was my tentacle run. Right, so now the boomerang gives us an advantage. A fatal one. Because we can... Oh, okay. I never run into these guys. It's tonight, though, Murphy's Law. All right. So with the, with the boomerang, we can actually... Is she on the button? It's a button. It's a button. You know, just just stand on it. I, I'm talking to myself. Like, what's wrong with me? All right, here we go. Yes, boomerang time. Instantly target this guy. Throw your boomerang. Oh, that wasn't close enough. And press the wrong button. Like, have you played this before? All right, here we go. 
Alright, wow, I never do this poorly. Here we go. Stay locked on them. Keep rotating around the room. Two. He's gonna swing at you, so but if you keep keep rotating around the room, he can never quite catch up. And when you get a chance, throw that boomerang. Four smacks and he's gone. What's inside the chest? Let's find out. It's our dungeon map. I gotta stop taking up bombs. Here we go. Hello, hey, princess. I know, I'm inconsiderate. Have you ever thought because I'm a man? Kidding. Nothing to do with it. That red slimy thing is gone. It must be because you cut the red tail. All right, tail. I call it a tentacle. Will that work with the others too? Gee, I wonder. Here we go. Yes, it is gone. Ah, uh, this is the room. This is a timed, and it's already started. Oh crap. Here we go. One. Crap. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Seven bubbles. Go. You found the compass. All right. Come on, princess. I always feel like Han Solo when I say that. Yes, your worship. Yes, your highness. Oh, this movie is so good. Harrison Ford in his prime. Ah, oh, I miss him so much. I mean, I'm not saying that like, he's dead, I'm just saying... <sighs> Have I already done these rooms? Yes, I did these rooms first, didn't I? Right? Apparently not. One. Another tentacle gone. And I don't believe we've been to the middle chamber. Now that I have a map, I can follow it. I'm going to go to this direction. Good job. Wow. I, I need to. Okay. This is impressive. Oh my goodness. I keep hitting it. All right. Check out the color of that tentacle. First, let's get rid of some with the right weapon. There we go. Yeah. The boomerang makes short order of these guys. We can actually hit them. And don't get hit by these so-called tail. There we go. Time for the big one. There we go. I want that heart. I need that heart. Give me that. Thank you. Okay, so check out. This is a sort of a really disgusting, but a green color. Remember that big room with all the holes? And it had that one tentacle in it? Um, that was the green one. So that will now be gone. Allowing us to go down it. <clears throat> opening up another part of the chamber or of, of the dungeon the way out is straight ahead try not to hit these students. I, I, I couldn't even see them All right. here we 
There we go. Thank you for hitting me. Now we get to listen to that annoying sound. I should just let him touch me. So I can use my fairy. Because I, I can't stand that noise. Oh, I can't stand that noise. Alright, come on. Take There we go. Let's use a fairy. That was a waste of time. I should have just avoided him. I thought, you know, clear the room, clear the room. Well, yeah, look what it got me. Shoot. Freezing them reminds me of using the. Oh crap, which one is it? This one? Yeah, I think this is it. I hope this is it. Wait, does this one have a ramp up? Right, let's go through anyway. I went the wrong way. I may have even taken the wrong. <clears throat> right. Wait a second. It's that one right over there. Okay. I'm trying to remember what to do here. I'm pretty sure this is not the order in which I should go. It is an order, though. I really need my uh, Deku shield. at least something. Thank you very much. Game's trying to help us out here. Yep, this is no good. The princess will reset. This will bring us back up to the main room. Yeah, apologies, guys, for <laughs> doing I told you tonight might be interesting. <clears throat> yeah, it's that one right there. Come here, girl. And we have the lovely alarm again. Okay, really? Did I just do it again? The one I want... Oh I know what I did. I told, I told you, I get turned around in this dungeon. I must have done it, I, I don't know how many times. Every time I get turned around. 
Uh, yes, you know, I, I don't remember. I don't, I don't, I have no excuse, except for just being, being a moron here. Um, forgetful. So, never said I was perfect and that's the right hole. That's it. Thank you. Now, what's great about the boomerang, you can now use it to collect gold skulltellas. You can actually lock onto them, throw the boomerang, and it brings it to you. So cool. All right, and there's one right there. Missed. Oh, come on. Thank you. How many do we have? 28. A couple more, and I think I get a new reward from the house. Oh, this is great. Princess Happy. Which brings us to our first. Oh, you'll see in a moment. This is a prize coming after the old gem. Yep, that's her spiritual stone. Oh my goodness! I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when Lord Jabba Jabba swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised I dropped it inside. But, now that i found it, I don't need to be here anymore. So, take me home right now. Oh, she's lovely. What a gentle spirit. Yeah! What is this, an octopus? Alright, this is our first boss, and basically, he will go counter to the way the wheel is turning. Get rid of this silly noise. There we go. Thank you. So lock onto him. Hit him in the face. When he spins, use your boomerang again to stop him so his butt's facing you and then you whack him in the butt with your sword. Missed, I was talking that time. Yeah, let's, let's just get, get the sucker ready. Spin, release, missed it again. Different times when I do this flawlessly. Of course, when we're sharing this together. Trying to get out of that pose and turn around. It wouldn't let me get out of it. Alright, here we go. <laughs> it's, 
Oh, here he's turning around. Oh, yeah, see, I, that's what I was doing, waiting for the boomerang to come back to me. Oh, I gotta stop doing that. Oh, crap. I have to stop doing that. This really isn't that hard. I know. Like, really? Four hits. You could use some hard drive. Yeah, so you have to hit both of these wobbly jelly things. That way they can act as platforms on which you can jump to get to the other side. This is what we've been waiting for. The missing element. You have to go all up, all the way up there just to do this. Now this is a switch. See how it's kind of blue in color? It's like the other one that we had Princess Ruto to put to weigh it down. However, we don't have her right now. So you have to come all the way around the, this kind of empty room, pick up a crate, bring it with you, and just do the same thing you did with Princess Ruto. Put it on the switch. And that's how you do it. Oh, oh good, good job. Really uh, ace stuff right there. Switch. I don't know why I was trying to square up with it. I just put it down. There we go. All right, the big room. This is the big room. All right, take out these guys first. Otherwise, you can make your life a pain. We all know life doesn't need any more pain. All right, boom, boom. Oh, whatever. Get the ruby. Um, take out this guy. Very good. Take out this guy. Isn't there one more? No, but I do hear a gold skull. Tell us in the on the wall. There he is. After you do get them, you can then use the targeting to lock onto it. That I believe is 29. Yep. Now climb these vines. Like so. Now the trick here is to use the natural arc of the boomerang. Of course, locking onto it would help. Um, you throw it around this kind of glass. Yep. It arches around, hits our switch, and opens up a door. See which door is it? Yeah, that door. Which is the other door from this room. Which, by the way, leads to the boss. Alright, this is the boss. Of Lord Jabba Jabba. Bioelectric and enemy baronade. I've never actually took the time to properly read that. All right, same principles before. Lock on. Go around the room. Like so. If it kind of keep locking on. The trick is to avoid its electric shock, so oh, just like I just did not do. Um, thank you. There are hearts in these jars around the room. Well, there you go. Prove me to be wrong. Thank you for that. Right. Now, the trick here is 
We lock on to these respectively and take them out. Okay, thank you for that. He protects himself with Defenses than before. Oh, please tell me I, have, I do have another fairy gun. process over and over again. I was not sure I can actually burn it. Okay, so we got that. I need that part. So, the trick here is just to keep moving. So he closes himself again. Sword. Sword slash is stronger than the regular. After a few hits, a couple of rounds, the guy goes down. Get another heart container. And that makes seven. You, you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. It's funny to see how her character changes when Lincoln is, a, is an adult. And it's still the sassy, selfish, but there's a, there's a major change. In fact, the seeds of those changes are being planted right now. You, you look cool. Cooler than I thought you would. Anyway, just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. Yeah, I'm going to say nothing after all that. You mean the spiritual stone of water? Zora Sapphire? Don't you? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it to only to the man who I will be my husband. You might call it Zora's engagement ring. All right. I'll give you my most precious possession, Zora Sapphire. You obtain Zora Sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession? You don't know what she's talking about. But really, and finally, you collected all three spiritual stones. Go back and see Princess Zelda. Don't tell my father. And there we go. 
Okay, at night, there is a gold skull tullet we can get. Play the sun song. What does that do? That's right. Brings us nighttime. And I, I believe I can hear it already. I need to climb up on this log. And this will actually give us 30. We couldn't do this before. Meaning, we could kill it, but we couldn't retrieve it. But with a boomerang, it's a cinch. Check it out. That's 30. Guess where we're headed. Let's go see if we get another reward for our efforts. It's actually easier if you kind of run along this rock wall. You don't have to swim much at all. Just even get to the great fairy fountain over there. So we need to leave Zora's domain and head back to Hyrule Castle. And as you can see, the princess is back safely with her dad. So all things are right in the world. Wonderful. Good job rescuing her, Link. So we just exit Zora's domain. We go back to Zora River. And there's actually... Oh, good. That's what I was talking about. All right, hold on, hold on. Um, yeah. There's actually things we can do now. That we have the boomerang. Like, you know, miss a piece of heart. You can bring heart pieces to you. Let's see, how many do I have? Not two. Okay. Two more. Okay, where am I? Man, is it dark. Okay, yeah, I know where I am now. Exactly, I want to I wanna be back there. You stop. <clears throat> Can I get up here? Yeah, okay. Oh, it's daytime. All right, hold, hold on. Play the sun song because right up here, past this uh, dude, over the bridge, you will see, I almost jumped off that, get out your boomerang, stand on the fence, where is it, oh come on, I couldn't have already gotten it. Okay. Could have swore. <sighs> Is that an adult thing? I can't remember. Okay. No worries. Let's head to Hyrule Castle. As uh, our little fairy friend suggested we should. Get some rupees. Oh, I'm already maxed out. Okay. Alright. We're going. And I planted a seed over there. Yep. Okay, yep. Yeah, I believe that was uh, part. I haven't. Is it part five? Where in the entire video we collected things, very crucial things, heart pieces, gold skull tellers, uh, songs, just a bunch of stuff. That's what we did. Uh, we didn't actually do a dungeon. I can't remember if it was part four or five. Um, 
you, you can check that out. But here in part six, yes, we just beat Lord Jabu Jabu. And uh, it should be a lovely reunion with the princess. So that's where we're going. To see Little Miss Zelda. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. Nope, something's going on. I lost her. That was awful. <laughs> you over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me! So, you think you can protect them from me? You got guts, kid. Of course, he is the king of evil, so that was actually uh, kind words. You want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. Of course, he, he sees a warlike spirit. He's, he's, oh, we could be friends. little fool? Do you realize who you're dealing with? I am Ganondorf. In suit, I will rule the world. I could have delivered that line better. <laughs> no, this is very serious, very serious. Okay, so that happened. of time. This is Hyrule family's hidden treasure, which Zelda left behind. It glows with a mystical light. Yeah, my son, actually, uh, we, he, he got a blue ocarina for Christmas. Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. Link, when you hold this, when you hold this ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you the ocarina in this melody. This song opens the door of time. Here we go. You've learned the song of time.
Now, Link, play this melody in front of the altar in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. So, those are pretty much our marching orders. And we now have the Ocarina of Time. You heard the princess. It's going to open the door of time. And the temple of time, which is this church building, which actually has very, very similar, if not the same, uh, build in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I just now noticed that. I can't believe I... I'm so used to seeing it in those games. And I, you know... But it's been a while since I took a good look. And yeah. I'll check it out, guys. There are three hollows in an inscription here. He who owns three spiritual stones stand with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. That is how the inscription reads. All right, so. Captain Memory here. I already forgot what it is. Here we go. Write it down, write it down. Here we go. So, take out our ocarina. We go in this room. Link, isn't that... There it is. It's the legendary blade. The master sword. very cautiously going up to it. Hmm. I wonder if I could grab it. Well, let's, let's give this a try. Ah! I... As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Link. Wake up, Link, the Chosen One. Sages. Ages ago, 
we ancient sages built a temple to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is a chamber of sages inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sac sacred realm. Link, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Look, Link, you are big now. You've grown up. The Master Sword is the sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of the Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well, do you understand your destiny? But remember, Though you open the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter the, this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm, namely this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When power of all sages are awakened, the sages' seals will contain the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Rauru, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The Hero of Time, chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you, and find the power of the other sages, and add their might to your own. You receive the Medallion of Light, or the Light Medallion. <laughs> Varu, the Sage, adds his power to yours. Find the other Sages and save Hyrule. Yeah, the world is definitely different now. Link, we're back in the Temple of Time, but have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Yes, but I have the, Hy the Hylian Shield and the Master Sword. Oh, what's this? I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be the sages who dwell in the five temples. One in the deep forest, one on a high mountain, under a vast lake, and within the house of the dead, one inside the goddess of the sand, Together with the Hero of Time, the Awakened Ones will bind the evil and return light and peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people to the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. 
As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. Mm. The sage is a girl I am sure you know. Because the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariga Village. Do you understand? Yes, we need an item. So, this is chic. All right. That was, that was great. This whole, you know, warping through time, getting the Master Sword, that, uh, that made what I just went through worth it. You know, that, that silly Jabba Jabba's belly. It is the one, uh, crazy enough, it is the one that I actually have trouble with to this day, as you witnessed. Well, that, that was really fun. I had a lot of fun. Um... Yep, beating Lord Jabba Jabu's belly, uh, th that dungeon. We got the s water spiritual stone, and then as you can see, we got the master sword. Warped through time, seven years, found out we're the hero of time, and that's where we are seven years in the future as young adult or adult Link. Uh, the next parts are going to be pretty cool, actually. Uh, we need to go get a particular weapon slash tool that'll allow us to gain entry. It's what... Uh, Sheik was talking about entry into the forest temple and find out who that girl that we know she's the first sage the, the forest sage so um, that's what we're going to do next time and before I go toy of the day I have an original 19 and he's a little worse for wear but hey this guy is like 45 years old 1977 R2D2 and he actually has a little telescoping thing here. There we go. He can pull up his little uh, sensor deal to get readings as he does in multiple movies. Of course, R2 wouldn't be anything without his sidekick, C-3PO. This C-3PO has the detachable limbs. So if you saw Empire Strikes Back, um, you know, he gets all blown apart and Chewbacca has him on a backpack. The Ugnaughts are trying to, you know, do what they do inside of Cloud City. Well, from that, they made a figure that you, in which you can take the limbs off, okay? And then put them back on. However, over time, these have gotten too loose. I actually have some tape. You can see, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't lose them. I, don't, I, I may look for a more permanent solution that's not as ugly as this. But for now, a little bit of tape holds them on, so I don't, I don't want to lose this thing. This alone is nearly 40 years old. From 1982, so it came out the year, uh, two years after uh, Empire Strikes Back. Um, I might have a Return of the Jedi version, but this is my main one. This is, uh, yeah, C-3PO, uh, slightly older, uh, newer model, but this is original to the first movie, 1977, R2-D2. So yes, these are the toys of the day, R2-D2, C-3PO. You guys have been great. Thank you so much for hanging with me. I appreciate you guys. Please, uh, please say your prayers. Pray for your meals. God loves you. Jesus died for you. And you're not alone. Leave comments, like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. I appreciate you guys. This is Loud Boy. I hope you have a really blessed evening. You guys take care. Thanks a lot.